Hey, I just got a 2003 Ford Expedition. I ended up selling my 2008 Expedition, decided to get an 03 Expedition. This one just had more options than my 08 model. So, I'm going to show you some of the little things I'm going to do to it. First thing I always do to a vehicle when I get it is intake and exhaust. As you can see, the factory has a pretty heavy tired exhaust. I'll show you. They got like a muffler that weighs like close to 40 pounds. Look at that. Look at that muffler right there. 40 pound muffler. And not to mention other things, but that muffler is the main thing I want to get rid of. And I'm going to replace it with... A very free flow single chamber inline muffler and this is the muffler I'm going to replace that big 40 pound boat anchor with with this nice little muffler as you can see you can see right through it my favorite kind of muffler kind of like a silencer on a gun or a noise suppressor you know look at that little thing right there that's going to replace a 40 pound muffler and make the engine breathe better and i figure since i'm doing that i'll finish it off with a nice exhaust tip instead of that ugly factory tip which kind of looks tired there you go and that's how it'll look once it gets on there much better than the factory so it's going to get this upgraded tip and this free flow muffler here that'll take care of the exhaust system on this vehicle give me some more low end towing power and torque and all that good stuff so those are the first two things i'm going to do and i'm going to have those welded on tomorrow then the next thing i'm going to do is go under the hood and remove this heat shielding now this heat shielding blanket is not good for modern engines. Factory puts it on because, oh, they want to heat up your engine so all your electronic sensors go bad in a number of years. But I always take these heat blankets off by popping those little plastic rivets off and I drop that heat blanket and it keeps the underhood temperatures a lot lower. And then I'm gonna remove the ugly engine cover there because it's not necessary, it holds in heat and the engine could let its heat just, you know, the heat can disperse a lot better without these covers. And of course, there's the bottleneck of the intake. See how it goes from this air filter here then it goes down to this small bottleneck right there, which is probably about two and a half. And then it goes down to a really small, see, look at that small little thing. It goes here and there. And basically I'm gonna put a nice cold air intake on there, or at least a free open element intake. And it can still get its air from the side there, but breathe much better. So, this is just the introductory video on what I'm going to do to this expedition to make it a better all-around driving vehicle, as well as have more low-end torque and better power for towing and everyday driving, because it is a heavy vehicle. So it can use all the help it can get, especially improve its fuel economy a little bit. So, hopefully you like this introductory video to just... A nice little Ford Expedition 2003. It's the Eddie Bauer model, so it's got all these nice little luxuries and everything. But I mainly wanted some power. I wanted a good V8 engine, and the 542 valve to me is a lot better than the 543 valve engine that I had in my 2008. So I like that engine a lot better. Plus, my future for this vehicle. I'd like to make a sleeper out of it and take the Ford SVT Lightning engine that was a 542 valve supercharged engine 
and put it in this car just to kind of make my own little lightning expedition. I figured that'd be kind of neat. I don't know too many people that have done it, so that'll be kind of something I do. So, hope you like this video introducing my new, well, new for me, 2003 Ford Expedition. Needs work, but it's got a decent foundation. Intake, exhaust, get things to breathe right. And then the next thing I'll do most likely is put a tuner on there and make adjustments and more to follow. There's the old muffler that came off of the Expedition. About 40 pounds of boat anchor. There's where the muffler is gonna go. And that new tip is going to go right there. Here's the finished product. Some pipe, free flow muffler, and join to the pipe. Next item of business is this factory intake goes bye bye. And we're going to put a performance intake in there. Breathe better. All that good stuff. All right. Have a great day and add boosting.